Hello guys, I welcome all of you to today's farmcast. Today we'll be discussing 10 drugs of choice. Um, metabolism in the section of general pharmacology and a few questions asked by the students which I discuss at last, right? So let's begin with our drugs of choice straight away guys. The first one today is rhodococcus. So guys, rhodococcus, the drug of choice is a beta lactam drug. Can you think which beta lactam could be the drug of choice for rhodococcus? Think for a moment. Guys, the answer is vancomycin. Vancomycin, as all of you know, is a very important drug which is very commonly asked in your exams. It is drug of choice for MRSA. It is also drug of choice for pseudomembranous enterocolitis. And add one more to that, and that is rhodococcus, right? The rhodococcus has never been asked, so it becomes a candidate which can be asked as a new MCQ. Rickettsia, guys, it has been asked umpteen number of times in our exams. And Rickettsia, the drug of choice, tetracyclines are preferred. And as all of you know, the preferred tetracycline nowadays is doxycycline. Tetracycline is not the preferred drug due to, you know, ever-growing resistance. So Rickettsia, doxycycline. Um, roundworm or Ascariasis. So roundworm or Ascariasis, guys, what do you think should be preferred? So all of you know it is a cystode, right? And as you know, for most cystodes, the preferred drug is albendazole, right? So roundworm or ascariasis drug of choice is albendazole. Moving on to the next one, guys, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. So guys, for treatment of RSV, we give inhalational ribavirin is the drug of choice for treatment. Whereas for prophylaxis, prophylaxis, we prefer palivizumab. Palivizumab, which is anti-RSV monoclonal antibody. Next one, guys, sarcocystosis. Now, for sarcocystosis, we prefer a drug which is also drug of choice for isosporiasis and cyclosporiasis. Does it ring a bell? Which drug am I talking here about? Guys, the drug is cotrimoxazole. So, cotrimoxazole, remember, is drug of choice for isosporiasis, cyclosporiasis, as well as sarcocystosis. Now moving on to scabies. Now scabies guys, you must have studied in uh, derma as well, right? The drug of choice is a topical drug and 5% permethrin, right? So 5% permethrin is drug of choice for scabies, whereas 1% permethrin is preferred for head lice, right? Next one guys is scadosporium. Now for scadosporium, the drug of choice is an antifungal drug and the drug is voriconazole. So remember, voriconazole is preferred for invasive aspergillosis that's one which is very commonly asked scadosporium has never been asked so a new question can be asked what is the drug of choice for scadosporium your answer would be voriconazole next one guys is schistosomiasis now schistosomiasis guys as all of you know um, that uh, for schistosomiasis the preferred drug is praziquantel right praziquantel is the drug of choice um, as it happens with most of the uh, trematodes, the preferred one is praziquantel. And coming to the last one for today, guys, it is schizophrenia or psychosis. See, guys, in schizophrenia, the preferred drugs are obviously atypical antipsychotics, and uh, you can go for any atypical antipsychotic except clozapine and olanzapine, and that is because of toxicity, right? And the most preferred one is eripiprazole, right? Most preferred one is eripiprazole. And if the patient does not respond, you can change to some other atypical antipsychotic. Still does not respond, change to some typical. And at last, if the patient does not respond to any drug, then at last we can go for um, close up in close up in, which happens to be the drug of choice in resistant schizophrenia. Right. So that is what we had to discuss in this section of drug of choice. And let us move on now to the second part where we discuss about nowadays we discuss about some part in G pharma or general pharmacology. Right. So today, guys, as we have discussed drug absorption and distribution in uh, last two farmcasts, today I'll talk a little bit about drug metabolism. So guys, all of you know drugs, they are usually metabolized in which organ? Liver, right? Most of the drugs, they are metabolized in liver. Some drugs are metabolized in plasma by plasma esterase. So you know that whenever a drug is metabolized in liver, it will take its due course of time because as and when the drug will gradually flow, flow through the liver, it will be gradually metabolized. So what if the enzyme is present in the plasma itself? like esterase. That means the drug would be immediately metabolized. So what you need to learn is any drug that is metabolized by plasma esterase is gonna have a very short duration of action. So most of the short acting drugs or shortest acting drug in a class are usually drugs which are metabolized by plasma esterase. For example, Esmolol. 
Why is it a shortest acting beta blocker? Because it is metabolized in plasma. For example, clavidipine. Why is it a shortest acting calcium channel blocker? Because it is metabolized in plasma. Succinylcholine. Why it is the shortest acting muscle relaxant? Because it is metabolized in plasma. Remifentanil. Why it is shortest acting opioid? Because it is metabolized in plasma by esterase. So this is an important aspect in metabolism, guys, which I wanted to tell you. It is commonly asked in our exams. Other than that, in metabolism, all of you know there are two phases of metabolism: phase one and phase two. Phase one, we inactivate the drug, except pro drugs which are activated in phase one. And phase two, what we do is we make the drug water soluble so that it can be excreted. And most of the reactions in phase one, in fact, all of them, they are sponsored by microsomal enzymes. Phase two, only gluconeuridation is sponsored by microsomal enzymes. Rest in phase two, they are by non-microsomal enzymes. Second. Phase 1 reactions are sponsored by cytochrome P450 enzymes, right? Cytochrome P450 enzymes and you need to know one enzyme which is most important is CYP3A4. The reason being it metabolizes more than 50% of drugs and which means what? It is the most common cytochrome P450 enzyme which metabolizes drugs, right? So that's from the section of enzymes which metabolize these drugs, right? Briefly because you know I cannot cover everything in this farm car. So the most important one is what I'm trying to cover here. Um, second, in phase 2, gluconeuridation metabolizes two important drugs. You need to remember irinotecan and atazanavib. And these two drugs are metabolized by gluconeuridation. And that is why if a patient is deficient in gluconeuridation, for example, in a patient of krigler najjar syndrome, never give these two drugs, irinotecan and atazanavib, because these are highly toxic drugs. And when there is a deficient gluconeuridation, they would become even more toxic. Right. And the last part in metabolism, you need to remember which drugs are enzyme inducers and enzyme inhibitors. Right? So I hope you know the list, like enzyme inducers, we have rifampicin, griseofulvin, phenytoin, phenobarbital, carbamazepine, these are enzyme inducers. Inhibitors, the list is quinidine, cimetidine, ciprofloxacin, ketoconazole, valproate, um, diethyl carbamazine. So these are enzyme inhibitors. And enzyme inducers, as you know, they cause uh, drug failure. And the most commonly asked drug failure is OCP failure. So they ask you which drug causes OCP failure. Most of the times your answer is rifampicin. Whereas enzyme inhibitors, they would cause toxicity. So for example, erythromycin is an inhibitor. I would never combine erythromycin with theophylline because theophylline is a very toxic drug. It has a very low therapeutic index. And if I combine erythromycin with theophylline, what will happen? There would be theophylline toxicity. So that's all guys in this section of uh, G Pharma which we had to discuss today and let us move on to the last section for today and where I cover all of your doubts right so let us take your first doubt here which has been asked by Vaishnavi Sai so Vaishnavi is asking sir I'm really feeling anxious these days and I'm able to relax in my break times because of which it is difficult concentrating and I'm losing my study time please help so see Vaishnavi first of all you need to understand that I have mentioned it time and again in my farm cast that these last few months couple of months they're gonna be most difficult and they're gonna test your metal the reason being the amount of course you need to revise is enormous and the time is very limited right you should have to cover a lot and just remember one thing it's never gonna be perfect if you're aiming for 100% perfectness in your revision it will never be there so our aim is to make it as perfect as possible and it is with most of the guys when I say most it, it covers 99.9% .9%. so there would be some 0.1% guys who are perfect for most of us it would be like we, we would set a target and try to achieve as much as you can you would have anxiety right you would have moments of depression that I'm not able to achieve um, the amount of course I would love to right but then this is the sad part of the story that nothing is perfect in this world so you have to make peace with yourself and say to yourself that this is what I wanted to do and this is what as I could achieve right at the best of my capabilities all right guys coming to the next doubt which has been asked by Mani Kandan is asking sir I had a unit mate who was topper during my UG days he secured a rank of 600 in NEET PG 2020 I was an average student last year my preparation didn't go well I attempted a GT last year during the same time I got only 95 questions correct this work, I'm, uh, this year I'm working hard in the in my GT. I got 175 questions correct, right? So that's a great thing, Mani Kandan. And I'll complete my first revision before INICT. I'm aiming for a rank around 300 this year in NEET PG. Can I get that rank, or am, am I aiming high? Mani Kandan, you are never aiming high, right? Keep your hopes always high because see, this, there is a very old saying that at least aim for the stars so that you'll land on the moon at least. Are you getting my point? What I'm trying to say. So you should keep your hopes always high aim for the highest possible rank, rank that you want right 
and then what happens is you up the ante right you uh, increase the stakes stakes are so high that you try to outdo yourself you try to extract more from yourself and their possibilities are very high that you will whatever you dream about right the rank or the position you will get at least nearby if not exactly to, to that rank so always be uh, an optimistic person and always take these challenges head on and you will come out as a winner manikandan never think that you are aiming too high never in your life right not here uh, in your neat exam and never in your life whenever you go and try to do something else with your career always aim for high that's a good trait of trend setters all right guys next doubt has been asked by ankush singh and ankush singh is asking sir i'm addicted to videos the moment i close them i start reading from notes a voice inside me says uh, that uh, start the video with 2x and start revising is it a good thing sitting alone with my notes is taking a lot it feels as if i knew nothing say so, ankush singh it depends upon what kind of a student you are right if you ask me myself then um, i i kind of uh, i'm i'm an old school person who believes in the hard copy of notes and uh, i revise them i revise them i revise them until i can flip through the pages of the notes in my mind itself right that is what gives me confidence that i have studied enough and gives me you know a confidence that i am going to perform well in the exam um but if you are a kind of student because see times are changing we did not have these videos and all stuffs in our time right but now it is uh, you know we were also ev- evolving right the evolution is still on and if you are a person you are comfortable for example see how I, i will ask you to judge yourself so suppose you watched a video for 2 hours right so stop the video close your eyes for 10 to 15 minutes and try to recall whatever is being said in that video now if you are able to recall you are in the right direction if you are not able to recall then you might be in trouble so that is what is important and for, frankly speaking see when you ni- need to revise your notes faster right you can revise your notes faster like like the whole notes in 10 days you, you need to flip through the pages you can do that but can you do that with the videos no you cannot do that so for me that is a drawback in that case right i guess moving on to the next doubt that has been asked by shoheb ahmed shoheb is asking sir um a question was asked in neat pg about that lithium question is asking lithium question so what is the answer for that lithium question should we check uh, serum lithium or serum electrolyte see ultimately we'll be checking both serum lithium levels as well as ser- serum electrolyte but here because of fasting the probable reason is here because of uh, deficiency in sodium that is the reason why the patient is having lithium toxicity so this is the answers the aims questions are always controversial and the answers they might change from you know faculty to faculty and even from institutes to institutes right so according to me guys the answer would be serum electrolyte right so you can choose one answer right and i have already uh, always said to you how to how to solve controversies to solve controversies uh, see look at the topic and see the topic is close more to which person which faculty is it more close to pharma is it more close to medicine is it more co- close to psychiatry so if you look at lithium then it, it is a topic which comes more close to psychiatry because they are the people that deal with actual patients i do not deal with actual patients right so i am in the virtual world so in that case you should believe in psychiatry faculty more than me i would say right so that is a way to find because the controversy there are some controversies aims question 20 years back there's still a controversy we don't know the right answer actual answer right so but that is a way to end the controversy for yourself uh next question has been asked by rohit juneja rohit juneja is asking so please tell that uh, in marrow we have image master discussion mcq discussion videos revision video what to watch and how preference we give very confused see rohit juneja it, it is uh, you know is okay if you are confused because there is plethora of information nowadays right and you need to be selective so see if you are if you look at image master discussion then that should be your first priority because you'll be having a lot of images take it from me you'll be having at least 40% of your paper would be images this time minimum right maximum nobody can say how much it can it can go so what you need to do is you need to you need to be bullish on images and as far as uh, the mcq discussion videos are concerned see i have told you always how to use the mcq discussion videos see suppose uh, you had been studying from the morning and it's 2 or 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and you are feeling like studying nothing right you are not able to concentrate or focus and you need to relax a bit so don't go for active study just switch on the mcq uh, discussion videos and passively because there you are not actively studying there is a faculty who is explaining you the mcq why is the answer so you are still learning something without uh, actively devoting your concentration there right so just passively try to learn something so you can bridge these moments where you are weaker right during your preparation uh, with these 
रिविजन वीडियोज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट रिविजन वीडियोज यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्मार्ट वाइल यूजिंग रिविजन वीडियोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ सब्जेक्ट विच यू हैव स्टडीड थॉरोली फ्रॉम दी मेन वीडियोज एंड यू आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल विथ योर नोट्स सो देर इज नो पॉइंट इन गोइंग बैक टू रिविजन वीडियोज राइट बट देर इज अ सब्जेक्ट सपोज यू हैव स्टडीड इट कम्प्लीटली बट स्टिल यू आर नॉट एबल टू मेक आउट आई मीन वट शुड आई स्टडी वट शुड आई नॉट स्टडी एंड आई एम नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल एनी थिंग नाउ फॉर दैट अ रिविजन वीडियो ऑफ दैट सब्जेक्ट वुड बी लाइफ सेव सो गो बैक एंड ट्राई टू कंकर दैट सब्जेक्ट विथ रिविजन वीडियोज फॉर एट अबाउट अ सब्जेक्ट लेट एस टेक अ टॉपिक सपोज देर इज अ टॉपिक एंड दैट टॉपिक यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द मेन वीडियोज और यू आर नॉट एबल टू यू नो स्टोर दैट मच इन्फॉर्मेशन and you always uh, faltering when mcqs are asked from that topic so what you can do is go back to the revision videos and make those revision videos as a main source for that particular topic so revision videos they can be supplemental and they can be excellent if you use them judiciously right now guys coming to the next uh, doubt uh, uh, sir new image based videos will be available or not or only old um in mero i i i guess you are asking see i have no idea about this and see there is no time to now see parth there is no time to look for anything new now the time for looking for new is gone now you need to do whatever you have right because don't run up after new updates and anything at this stage because see they would be counterproductive they would be counterproductive the reason being uh, now what happens is now is the time you need to focus more on whatever you have revised except few new things like few important new drugs i'll be posting those new drugs uh, after few days like which have been approved in uh, 2020 and you have to be selective like antimicrobials or any neuro neurodegenerative disorder or anti epileptic they are most commonly you know they are asked plus few drugs of coronavirus they can be asked so you have to limit yourself with uh, the updates as well right guys so that's all for today's session and i have answered all your queries i guess If you have such type of queries you can always let me know in the comment box right in my YouTube channel and I will definitely incorporate your doubts in the next farmcast so take care bye bye this was Dr Ranjan with you